Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. So today we are sharing what can we create together with Earth. And for many people here, it's probably the first time in a long time that you're hearing my English instead of my Chinese. And um, hello, friends from Indonesia. This is my first sharing with Indonesia. And actually, the land of Indonesia was the reason that I chose to run this class. Um, my name is Dr. Huan Xi. I'm an access consciousness facilitator. I've also created the joy of movement and our fantastic earth as an exploration to see how much more can we expand our life, how much more can we live orgasmically. So uh, for many of you, uh, I'm not a new face. And for the new friends, hello, it's so lovely to see you. And please show your beautiful face on the camera if it's easy for you. If you're driving, I understand. But you can also show your steering wheel as well. And if you have any question, any comment during the class, you're welcome to write in the chat uh, in your language, in emoji or in English. We will find out what you mean <laughs> between the three of us, okay? So um, uh, if I can invite you to be with your body first, this, uh, this is not just about me. Yes, this is my introduction of me in, uh, well, with many new friends. But really, I'm, what I'm interested in is when we have bodies from different continent or well, from different countries, from different cities, all coming all together, what can we create together? What do you know about Earth that no one else does? If you start sharing the possibilities with us, can we create something different? So this Earth journey didn't start with Earth. I mean, before I became an access facilitator, my life, my life was very small. I was a in a tiny box. I was a dentist. I was working in a very, very well-established dental practice. It was like a five-star hotel, but I was not happy. I didn't know why I was not happy because I have a pretty good life. I had good income. I just had a family. I had a beautiful daughter, but it's almost like I can see where I'm heading and I can see my gravestone <laughs> at the end of my life. And at the same time, um, I was into meditation. So I was doing meditation and I started seeing a tumor in my thyroid. That's when I heard a voice that says, you need to get your neck checked. And I thought, well, if the voice came to me three times, I should get it checked. Then I found out at the age of 30, I had malignant cancer in my thyroid. It was tiny. It was a very tiny cancer. I had half of my thyroid removed. But that, thank, thank you, thank you, that half thyroid that's gone. Uh, that actually made me realize that I had some gift with my intuition. So I started exploring what else is out there other than conventional medicine, other than dentistry. So I came across a person who has explored many, many modalities. And he said, you should try access consciousness. I've never seen anyone change so much in an hour. So I went straight to a five-day class with Foundation and Bath together. What has changed was very interesting. Um, it has opened the door of possibility that I know my life is not enough, but I don't know what else is possible. I can't see the possibility yet. So I just kept going and kept going. I gave up my job so that I can travel and do more access classes. I ran out of money because there's been too much money on access classes. And at the time, I wasn't equipped 
to teach classes yet. So I came back to dentistry, uh, bargained with my new boss and go, I'm going to need more annual leave so I can do more access classes. And eventually, before I knew it, I got a CF license. That was really on the journey. At this, at the, at this stage, my life was still quite small. Um, so collecting the certificate was only a habit. But I ran my first ever class as clearing the dental fear. Of course, what would the dentist access facilitator do? Clear the dental fear. So that was my first class. We had two people in that class. What I got from that class is that, oh my God, I could change someone's life in one hour or I could change the shape of a tooth in one hour. Of course, changing someone's life and seeing the spark in their eyes is much more rewarding for me. So I started my access business as a facilitator. That was fun. I knew there's up, ups and downs, but it's only until I started, started fully embracing and fully being the question and using the tools in my everyday life and started to see the real shift in my life. I have been through the process of, oh my God, giving up a profession that is, well, my, my parents spend a lot of investment on me. My husband was expecting like a stable income from his wife. So I lost support from my family. I was looking to the verge of divorcing my husband because he thinks I am crazy. <laughs> he thinks I'm crazy to give up dentistry and starting some, something that's very fairy. Um, yeah, so before COVID, we were actually discussing maybe we should get a divorce and I was getting ready. I wasn't making enough money, but the life, the marriage was not working because I can't live with someone who judges my business and judges how I live my life. Like living in question, clearing, running body processes all the time. Um, But COVID has shifted so much for me. Thank you, COVID. I think that's one thing good about COVID. <laughs> that I was forced to stay at home. And my husband was very surprised. He's like, how can you be so happy in the middle of the night looking at people on Zoom? Because uh, I was, I started running uh, my access classes on Zoom. He's like, how can you make money and be so happy and laugh so loud? And he started looking into my classes and actually he paid to to uh, join my classes and listen to my classes. And he started to change. He started to realize the job he was doing was not fulfilling for him. And he started looking for different possibilities. And well, he, he's actually my best client, best example, best tes testimonial living in my house. Um, so I started seeing the sparks in his eyes and he started to have joy in his life again and we fell in love again. He's falling, falling in love, norm, uh, fell, fell, falling in love, normal, like sister. Well, we fell in love again. So we started our second marriage with the same person. <laughs> so this is when I started seeing, it's actually three, four years into becoming and access facilitator, I started to see dramatic shift in my life. And, and as I explored more, I started loving my body more and connected with my body more and started movement. And that <laughs> this movement shared, showed me an awareness where, where my verbal language cannot get to. Like during the movement, I started to see how I choose in my life in every moment. And I started to realize, oh, wow, our body has so much wisdom that we can learn from if we listen to them. And therefore, I created the joy of movement. It's actually classes to where we dance into joyful, embodied living. And through the joyful movement, I started going traveling to Java, Indonesia, because that's where um, a murder movement was originated. 
and I learned about Indonesia, Javanese culture. I learned about surrendering. I learned about mandala, and they all click with what I learned about consciousness from Access Consciousness. So through the movement, I started to have a lot more connection with the earth, like insane connection, insane clarity about what is possible with the earth. And I have to say that the land, every land I have traveled has contributed so much to me. And from my recent trip to Central Java, I realized that I have a capacity to activate earth, activate the land under my feet. And it's something that really excites me. It's not a capacity that only I have. I believe all bodies have that. And I started seeing a vision. Um, of course, my vision is my vision. And you see if you resonate with it. I started seeing that if our bodies and all beings with physical body, trees, plants, mountains, if we have connection like in avatar deep connection like big trees with gigantic multiple roots into the earth earth would thrive so would us and that is the possibility i like to create on this planet and of course just me and my body is not enough so i'm creating this topic creating this class and creating an invitation for all of you to come together to share your awareness of the earth to see what we can create together with earth so if you can be with your body it like creating with earth can be so simple i i've been through the stage where i ignored earth completely and where I see Earth as something that's too big for me, that I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Like me, Juan, just Juan alone is too small. Um, and, and also I've been through those phases where I'm like, I'm going to change the world just, just by me. Uh, with a little bit of superiority and a little bit of definition. <laughs> To a stage where I started to see the power of me and the power of Earth, where we can co-create together. So this is a possibility I'm inviting you to play with. And of course, please follow your knowing. Don't just trust me, trust you. So if, if I can invite you to be with your body now, you can touch three points of your body. Of course, you have two hands, so touch two hands and just be aware that your butt is on the chair and your feet are on the ground. And say, hi, body. And if I ask you a very, very simple question, what do you know is possible about us right now? Oh, I love you guys. We're already connecting through Earth. Okay, so if your feet are growing roots, let them grow. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry to play foot touchy touchy with our feet. <laughs> feet from all over the world. <laughs> so, bodies, what do you know about Earth? What do you know is truly possible about Earth now? Can you share with us now? Can you share with all of these beautiful people from different cities, different lands? Hey, body, what do you know about Earth now? If you have been ignoring your awareness about the Earth, if you have been making up imagination of what Earth is and is not, would you like to let it go now? And to be truly touching the earth, touching your body. Your body is a part of the earth. And ask, what am I aware about earth now? And what do I know is truly possible? Anything in the way of that? Would you like to let it go? Yeah, thank you. Raran Guvapopo, Nashor's voice, Povet and Beyonds. That is an access clearing that I believe most of you do know, right? If not, it is a magical word, magical statement that clears the energy that stops you from being truly being you.
So I'm truly curious that how many of us actually do know there's a different possibility about Earth, but it's but we we suppress it, we shut it down because it's too different, too idealistic. Everywhere that you have dismissed what you know is possible about Earth, would you like to now destroy and uncreate it all, please? Thank you. Ow, oh, that really hurts. Right, wrong, gloom, bad, pong, 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 shorts, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. Oh, okay. What do you know about Earth that you've dismissed it? Can you now reclaim it? Reclaim, embrace it now. And all the point of views that you think it's impossible, you're too small. Earth is not like that. Would you like to now destroy and uncreate it all, please? Right, one gloom, bad, pong, 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 nine, shows, boys, perverts, and beyonds. And as you're sharing the possibility you know of Earth, you're also receiving what we, each of us, know about Earth. We don't have to agree, but we can inspire each other. So this is where uh, <laughs> copy and pasting is very well allowed. There's no plagiarism here in possibility. If there's any possibility floating in the air that you do like, you can sense it. Please receive it and play with it. Earth is a playground of possibilities. Earth does not do uh, copyright. Earth share everything. And as you share, it's not just sharing with us, you're sharing it with the Earth. Now, if I can invite you to start sharing what you know about Earth with Earth, whether it's just the mere choice of sending the energy out to Earth, or whether it is shooting it through your feet, share it with the Earth. What do you know is truly possible about Earth? Can you share it with Earth now? And see what happens. Does the ground under your feet get excited? Are you starting to get a response? And what if you can lower your barriers even more and receive from the earth, from your heart? Up your feet, up your heart, and allow it to flow to wherever it nourishes your body. And we can ask Earth to, at this very moment, what does Earth want to be? Hey Earth, what possibilities possible now? What would you like to be? And how can we contribute to you? Do you get a different sense? The one thing about Earth is that we tend to judge our judge or ignore the land under our feet the most. The culture that shaped the land, uh, the house that you have been living for years, you take it for granted. If I start inviting you to sense the land underneath the ground, whichever floor you are living in, whether you're living on the high-rise apartment building or whether you're living in a flat, if you start sensing the earth, the ground under the building and look at it from a fresh fret eye, so all the judgment, all the conclusion and all the definition of where you are, what the land is like, what the culture has shaped it, and that what you're familiar with, would you like to now destroy and uncreate it all, please? Thank you. Rarang goodbye, popon and shows boys, poves and beyonds. And allow your feet to have awareness as well, like fresh pair of feet, <laughs> like babies, 
Like this is the first time you're seeing the land under your feet. What are you aware now? What are you aware of now? And ask from the freshness of no conclusion. Choose earth, choose land under my feet. What is truly possible now? What would you like to be? And how can I contribute? Whoa, my body started shaking. And do not do not hesitate to share. Allow the energy to run wherever it wants to run. The land has a generosity of spirit. When you're open to it, it will share all the possibilities with you and with with the land joining it and the land joining it and the ocean joining it. Earth is very generous. So can you be. And what if we start to receive this possibility in our bodies now? Even if, even if you don't have a clue what it is, some of you may be very good at naming it. If you can, please share. Some of you may have images or hear sounds and see colors. Some of you just have a sense of tingling up your spine. Whatever it is, can you allow it in your body? And allow Earth to reach every crevice of your body like a molecular massage. Oh my God, you have like a 24-7 masseuse under your feet. Free service too. How does it get even better? And also do not stop it within your skin. Please allow whatever you're sensing as a possibility to flow out, like a breathing, like a breeze out of your pore and allow it to flow out and share. It's only when you think you are limited, you will limit the earth. And if you start claiming your capacity, your space, and your infinite space that you could choose. That's when Earth can thrive. And it's not changing. Changing the planet can sound like such a big dream, but it actually happens in every moment of our life, every choice you make. When you stop judging you, when you stop limiting you, when you stop limiting the flow between your body and the earth, it happens. And when you stop being stingy about the possibilities you know, it happens. This is not something that I, I cognitively know happens, but I learned from the spirits of the earth. For me, I talk to them a lot. I play with them a lot. And spirits of the earth are the beings, entities that don't, don't necessarily have a body shape, but they are essential for the health of the earth. And before, when I was asking them about earth, I've always come with an attitude of a student, like a minor. Like, what can I learn from you? What possibilities do you know? Um, well, that's a, that's a good entry point. I'm not saying that you have to do that. But one day they started saying that, you know, um, you are also conscious. You also know possibilities. Like you've got to be the leader of the possibilities that you see. You may be the, well, whether you're the only one or whether you have a group of people trusting you, like you've got to lead with the possibilities you know. And that's where I started truly co-creating with them. When I know what I know, I know what they know. And that's actually where I learned to both surrender to Earth and co-create with Earth. You know, sometimes, oh, well, I have experiences of going to a place and activating the 
the space so much that people around me can see light shining and seeing spirits coming surrounding me. It sounds all magical and theoretic, right? Um, but that also is feeding my, um, sometimes it can feed my expectation. And I started expecting to go to everywhere on, on the planet, go right here, I am going to make you shine brighter. <laughs> That's not a question. That's a definition and conclusion, isn't it? And every time I go to a space, um, the earth is teaching me, let go of your expectation. Let go of your judgment and conclusion. We are creating fresh here. I have a voice. You have a voice. I have to lower all of my barriers, all of my definition and all of my judgment and conclusion. Even the I ideal, what I see is beautiful. We have to let go of all of those dreams and images and start from fresh again, right here and now. Earth, what can we create together? And to my delightful surprise, it's always greater than what I have concluded. So right now, everywhere that we have concluded, whether it's from Avatar, yes, I mentioned Avatar, whether it's from Avatar, from movie, from fantasies that's what is possible with earth and nothing beyond would you like to know this joy and uncreated all please right wrong glenn bear pong park online shows voice purpose and beyonds and i'm sure all of you who are attracted by this topic you know something about earth you know something beautiful about earth can you acknowledge that's your power and also let go of definition around it and now ask what else is truly possible with Earth now. So you are always in question. You are always open to receiving. And that's actually how Earth creates. It never concludes that, oh, this rose garden is beautiful. I'm going to keep it exactly the way it is. And it's never going to change, right? And they will not say, okay, I'm going to grow roses all over Adelaide because it's so beautiful in Indonesia, right? Why would us? And if we learn from Earth that way, everywhere we go, anything you do, would your life be a bit more of a playground of possibilities? Mm. How are you and your bodies? It's so lovely to see Celine and Winter's face like this so happy just like me. Do you have any questions? How are your bodies now? Questions, feedback, friends, all are welcome. <laughs> like uh, I'm just I, I'm hot and I, I know it hot or <laughs> the warmth <laughs> both wanna sleep in? Mm -hmm. if you want to sleep in this energy that's completely fine it's also a way for your body to relax as well I'm so curious when I ask, what do you know is possible about Earth? What did you get? Can you share? Can you share? So I can translate the Chinese questions. Um, so when I'm healing other people with my body, what can I request from the earth to contribute for me to have more ease? Um, okay. There, there are a lot of uh, angles that we can 
we can answer this question with. So first of all, truth. Um, oh, okay. Truth, how many bodies are healers right now? Raise your hand, please. If your body is a healer, raise your hand, please. It's a yes or no. Yeah, many people have. Yeah, got this leaning to me. Uh, Neuriola? Isabella. Okay. And um, so someone else raised their hand as well. Okay. Can you acknowledge that? That's a power, Veronica. Yes. Can you acknowledge, acknowledge that is a power? Um, Scarlett, yes. Thank you. Now, can we play a game right now? We have many ways of going about it, and there's no right way. It's, what, it's about what works for you. If I invite all the bodies that said, yes, I am a healer, and all the bodies that are too shy to say yes, but secretly it's a yes, can you turn up your healing power? Turn it up. Turn it right up. Turn it so strongly. Turn it up so strong that you are a walking, talking, healing bomb. Essentially, anything or anybody that gets close to you within 200 meter gets healed and cha changed and transformed. So it's not a matter of, oh my God, I need to heal you. Oh, what can I do for you? It's a matter of, I'm a bloody healer. If you dare to change your life, get close to me and you'll get changed. This is one choice and sense how the, what that creates for you. My body is tingly. I like that attitude. <laughs> Of course, if 200 meters is too close, you, you, you're, you're like, oh, don't get close to me. Make it so, so strong that if people is within one kilometer of you, they get changed. It's a choice. Turn up your power. Don't shy away from it. Okay, sense what that creates for you. And now if I invite you to now... You can be that energy, like, I mean, you are human noise, like you probably don't want only one choice, you probably want multiple choices. That's fine by me, do whatever works for you. Now, if I invite you to start including the earth under your feet and embody the entire earth, how do you embody the entire earth? Expand your energy field like a bubble, front, back, top and bottom, until you can sense that the edge of your energy is including the entire planet. So oh, some of you need to be bigger. If you need to be bigger, be bigger. Be bigger than the solar system, be bigger than the universe, and bigger than multiverses. You can still be a healer in that space. Now, look at your healing power. You can turn it up, you can, you can stay the same, but now you are the ocean and whoever you heal becomes a drop of ink in the ocean. Does it still affect your body as much? Especially the ones, the healers that tend to lock the pain in their bodies. Does it still affect you as much or it's just like a breeze of wind passing through? It's a capacity that doesn't have doesn't have to be hard at all. It's your choice. And of course, you are a chooser. You get to choose. Now, if I, I invite you to disconnect with all the beings with their bodies that do not desire to be healed, disconnect. Hang up your telephone, like cut your Wi-Fi, change your password, whatever you do, disconnect. And start inviting the beings with body that actually desire to be healed, that are actually choosing to be healed. You can connect with them and share your healing energy with them. That's one way. And let's ramp it up because, well, why not? True healing happens for me. True healing happens when you empower the other beings to be all of them all of them so essentially if you be all of you 
you're inviting the other being to be all of them. As you claim your power of healing, can you also share with their bodies and the beings? What if you can empower them to have their healing power to heal themselves? Just like how you share your possibilities with the earth, you share it with them. You share your healing power with them and go, hey, how about you heal yourself? You've got that choice. You've got that power. And I think by now, many of you probably don't have much residue from the healing now. If you still do, yes, can you take it off to the universe, including the earth? Hmm. so those are a few choices you can be as a healer to me one two or all of them work so what works for you the lady who had a pro who had a question oh Shanzi. how are you going how are you all going? Which which two do you like the most? And this is why, oh, okay, it's quietened down, yes. This is why I'm inviting, I'm so interested in Earth, because when we don't look at our personal life as just our life, it's just me. When you start connecting with the earth and when you start seeing that every choice you make includes the earth, it's not it's not just like for the earth, like, oh my God, I, I'm a planet saver. It's not about that. It's actually, I realize I am so connected with the earth that every choice I make includes the earth. Your life is very different. Uh, the best I can describe it as is I have a sense of I have a super duper co-creator with me. The land always has my back and I have much less doubt of what I can do and what I can be now. Including this earth, it's, this, this class is a magic. I just ask the land of Indonesia, I'm like, I love you so much. I'm so grateful I've received so much from you. What contribution can I be to you? Then I talk to one person, um, they love my length and my energy. Then I get to know Ninta. Then I get to talk to David. Then we started creating. Um, if I use my mind, I'll probably be Googling who, who is in access um, in Indonesia. But the land has led all the right people in my world. And still, like our future creation is still asking, land, what can we be? Where can I be? Where where would I be a contribution? Like, can you imagine? I can just get a sense that the entire ground under your feet, wherever you stretch beyond the horizon, has your back. They are all willing to create with you. And if you open up and share your possibility with them, they are there to support you. Would you still feel lonely? Would you still feel like you are a, a lone warrior? Or you would actually naturally want to choose more and choose greater? How are you all? Bodies, beautiful bodies. And beautiful beings. Any questions? Love the energy. Thank you, Celine. Me too. No one has any question? Lovely. Thank you, Dr. David Budi. Oh. 
I'll meet you in the wind. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> cool. Wow. I love how your body is responding. Huh. Gratitude. Gratitude to Dr. Devi Budi. Would your body like to move now? Would you like to move? Well, we have a hot Celine's body and sweaty Ninja's body and blown away um, Nadila's body. Let's move. So, why not? And someone said that the blood in their body is itchy. Okay, you're in the move. We're sweaty all over. Okay, <laughs> Dr. David Booty is already in. Okay, so the movement is very, very simple. Uh, I am a terrible dancer, so it's not about beauty. It's not about that you're showing off. It's about, hey, what is truly uh, bubbling in your body and where does it want to go? So it can be as gentle as just sitting here and breathing, like Dodi touching his nose. Um, or it could be a wild movement. It's up to your body. But at this time, it's about also loosening the definition of your body, loosening your definition of who you are, and allow the body that is now connected with Earth and connected with us all together to start having its own rhythm. And your only job is to follow it, is not to judge it, is not to control it, and get out of your own way. <laughs> Who's in your own way? Get out of your way. And because today's topic is about the earth, please be aware of what's happening with your feet. Your body can move as a whole doesn't have to start with the head. It can start with the feet. It can start anywhere. And if you are self-conscious, you can turn off your camera. If not, please let me enjoy you. Let us enjoy your body. I mean, who cares? Okay. Now the question is still, what do you know right now is possible with Earth? I'm going to add more. What do you know about? No, what do you know now is possible with your body and Earth? Just start moving with this question. If you start thinking, let it go and let your body guide you. We are now opening a space where we are opening the wisdom of your body, which may be slightly different to the wisdom of your head. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're still in the head, can you think with your waist and below? Think with your lower body. <laughs> including translators. I know you're translating. Can you translate? <laughs> we don't know. Lower bodies. Big us. Too magical. Beautiful. And some of you may be natural dancer. Take advantage of it. Some of you may just start to get to know your feet. Enjoy it too. This is, at this very moment, this is a new body, a new earth. It's always new at every moment. So dance like a baby. Move like a baby. Okay. Oh, something's coming up. So what are the definitions, all the conclusions, and all the projections of what your body is, how it can move, how it cannot move, what your uh, your culture is and what you what dance movement you have learned would you like to let it all go 
and dance like an idiot. Move like an idiot, please. You do not know any dance movement, but your body knows something right now. <laughs> that is what I meant getting out of your way. <laughs> yes, yes, very beautiful. And I'm going to invite you to open up the space under your feet even more and start inviting the possibility of Earth. Earth, can you please share what you know is possible with us, please? And whatever is required, I'm not going to be in the way. I'm going to get out of my own way. And allow the possibility that's been shared to melt anything that's stiff in your body, to melt the control, usually in your neck and throat. For many people, it's neck and throat area. And to allow you like, uh, to have more possibilities and more space in your spine, in between your joint, and enjoy earth this way. If your body started to disappear with the earth, that's okay. You can melt. It's okay. The earth still has your back. And as you are melting, please share with us. Essentially, the sharing is do not confine your dance and movement just within your room. Allow whatever is flowing with your body to flow into the universe. So all of us get a bit of your beautiful magic. If you need to lie on the ground, that's completely normal. Then please just do it and do not confine yourself to the camera. And you may start to notice that your body is moving into a very weird position. Enjoy. Get out of your way. Do not control. Enjoy. Follow your body. Like it's the first day that you're getting a body. Follow it. Oh, yeah. What does I'm starting to invite you to notice everything in your room on the ground. So it's actually not just awareness within your body. You start to start to sense that your body's interaction with your space. <laughs> now invite all the molecules of your room to start dancing with this possibility. If the room's not big enough for you, of course, expand into the garden, into the continent, and invite the whole land to dance with you.
what is truly possible with our bodies and the earth. Can you please share with us? Miss, what would you like to be? And the sharing is never just one dimensional. We tend to forget about our back and you share your back with the world as well. So open the space in your back. So you are like a walking, talking sphere of possibility. You're a sphere, you're not half a ball. <laughs> open your back more. And more, more, and let us in. If you no longer need to hide what you know from the world, and if you, you no longer need to hide you from the earth, how much bigger would you get? How much more fun would you have? And how would you move now? And can you also share these possibilities through the center of the earth as well, please? Can you notice that the more you start to flow and the more you choose, the more you become and the more weak that you choose? Please be generous. Be generous like the earth. Dun, 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 dun. Um, slowly, slowly. This is the word I learned from Java. Slowly, slowly. You can bring your attention back to the computer but without losing your spherical awareness, without losing Earth. And if you still want to keep going, please follow that too. I know I'm beautiful, but you don't have to look at me. <laughs> How are you all? How are your bodies? At 11.30 p.m. my time, I'm fully awake. Lovely. Did you enjoy it? Do you have any questions? So we have quite a few possibilities coming up with Indonesia as well as Chinese. Um, so for Indonesia, on the 20th of November, we have Red Earth Energetic Process. This is something that I've learned and created with Earth. And it really desires to share with as many bodies as possible. It is a free event. If it makes you happy, please join. And on the November 21st and to the 25th, we have five days energetic energy pool with an amazing facilitator in Spain. That's going to be translated in 
um, Indonesian, Mandarin, Spanish. Oh, and of course, we'll be speaking in English. So essentially, you get the energy four times <laughs> in different languages. Um, and coming up for China, we have online um, our Fantastic Earth, first ever our Fantastic Earth class, where we start to dance, move, activate whatever energy we are aware of to learn to co-create with the land under our feet. It's not about a special energetic point in the earth. It's about the land under your feet right now. And if we can co-create with earth that way, it will be a different earth. And that is also coming up for Indonesia. We will have uh, our fantastic Earth class in well, Bandung. Did I get the name right? Bandung. We will do a field trip there in um, tracking through the rice field into the waterfall. We'll move, we'll um, ask questions, and we'll co-create with the land there. And also in Bandung, I'm creating Talk to the Entities class, beginning class with Dr. David Budi uh, at his studio. And we will, I will also be sharing more Joy of Movement and Intermediate Talk to the Entities class there. That's going to happen in February. And our beautiful translator, Ninta, will be there with us. So there are a lot of possibilities and ask what, if any of them will be a contribution for you, if any of them would make you smile. Do you have any questions so far? How are your bodies? Please share. Yes, awesome, Dr. Devi Budi. How are your bodies? Have the land under your feet. <laughs> Anyone has any question about what we shared or about me? Or about what you know is possible with Earth? You're all smiling and not talking. Yeah. Ninta, did you want to say something or you were just playing with your hair? Do you have a question? <laughs> no? Okay. Um, if you don't have a question, I look forward to seeing you next time. Um, hopefully we'll get to play with Red Earth with all of you. You have more space in the body, Ninta. Wonderful. Thank you. And for Mandarin speaking participants, you already have Red Earth down, so there's recording. If you need it, you can ask me or Celine, and we will share it with you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for spending the wonderful night with me. Now, what is truly possible with us and the earth? Please have so much fun. Have way too much fun. Hey, thank you. Bye. <laughs>